Thank you for joining us. Please enjoy this video from Father Houston. Hello, brethren. Uh, Father Houston, once again, wanting to um, say hello and offer a few words to just reflect upon. Uh, simply put, accountability is hard. It's extremely difficult. It, uh, it's kind of tough. It seems like it takes a whole lot out of ourselves to admit when we are wrong, to admit when we have hurt others, even when we are quote unquote in the right. Accountability is hard. However, I grew up with a quote, and uh, it's from Proverbs, and my mom um, always um, mentioned this uh, to me and to the rest of my family. Uh, pride goes before a fall. Pride goes before a fall. And I like to think of it quite literally. Before I, st before I fall, before I stumble, before I hit absolute rock bottom, that pride that we thought would keep us up is all gone. Why? Because pride is simply a tool that the evil one wants to use and definitely tempts us with to kind of keep ourselves up. However, the same goes with fear. The same goes with shame. A lot of those things don't really define us, but yet we use it as good defense mechanisms to defend ourselves. But one thing's for sure, the Lord has already saved us. If we have accepted him, if we have accepted his love, there is no need to fear. There is no need to shame, to have shame. There is no need to be prideful because the Lord himself gives us our identity. And there's nothing that we do on our own anyway. All everything is surely we have the gift of free will and we respond to God's love. But everything that we have is a gift from the Lord. The Lord is simply calling us to respond to him. And when we don't respond to him, i.e. when we sin, it's important to be accountable for our actions so that the world around us and we ourselves can always remember that God should be our head, that God should be our lead. And when we don't remain accountable for that, we double down and dig deep in ourselves and we turn inward instead of outward, shining our gifts to the rest of God's people to his glory. And so once again, accountability is hard. However, the Lord gives us, especially in the gift of this wonderful sacrament of reconciliation, when we come eye to eye with God and admit our faults, admit our wrongdoings. Yes, it's hard, but in this gift, in this wonderful sacrament, the Lord says, look, uh, to be with me is what uh, I deem for you. And do you want that for yourselves? And so, friends, I ask that question. I also ask this question to me. Do we want that? Do we want to be with the Lord? Is it worthwhile defending ourselves, defending our ego, defending what we think is our worth, especially when our worth is way more? To be accountable is to recognize that the Lord has called us to his glory and not for our own glory. Our own glory is simply not good enough. In the gift of reconciliation, we become all the more uh, upfront with the Lord, with true contrition, saying, I know that I have done wrong, and I know, Lord, you do not want to embarrass me. In fact, you want to make me even better. I own up to what I need to do, and I know that I can do better. And we certainly can do better, friends. It's not important, nor is it good, to judge another neighbor. It's not good to seek attention for ourselves. It's not good to be mean. It's not good to be uh, defamatory. It's only good to be kind. The Lord is calling us also to call out the truth and be truthful and to show forth the, the goodness that the Lord in, in, in fact has taught us. But he's still calling us to do so with charity. So that when the people of God and those who may be far away may look at us, they may see a place where they can find consolation. Because this consolation that we model comes from, you got it, the one true Lord. I encourage you to take advantage of the sacrament of reconciliation. 
also here in person with us, with the priest that uh, models Jesus Christ and his love in his own very self, especially during the sacrament. But then also with the world around us, if there are ways in which we have offended anyone, it's always good to build that bridge. Let the other person know that they can find true joy and help and consolation in you because you want to show that joy and consolation that Christ has a fact given to you. Pride goeth before a fall. Friends, let, let not that pride kill us. Let not that shame suffocate us. Let's let God himself be the owner of our hearts. Will you join me in that mission?